order to develop a JSP document, we don't need to update the web.xml file. We just need to type the JSP document and save it where we save the HTML files of our web application. In this case, here we develop um, a web application. Its name is Abelski. So within the main folder of the web application Abelski, and pay attention that Abelski, because this is the name of the web application, it is also an, the name of a folder, a folder within web apps. Here, where we place all the HTML files, image files, all static files, here we can place the JSP document. So once we place it, we can, and here I will just save it again to verify I have the correct file, then we can invoke that JSP document by um, using the URL address that point at the JSP document we have just uh, developed, just as if it was a simple HTML file. Well, the outcome um, of the JSP document would actually be the outcome of a servlet that the Tomcat out the Tomcat or any other web container auto generate for the specific JSP document we develop. Uh, the first time we try to execute it takes a bit longer but as, as of the second try it uh, works. It, it executes very very fast. Um, if you dig into the into the um, Tomcat folder, you can find a folder, its name is work, and uh, within work you can find Catalina and here we can find the localhost and here we can find a folder, its name is Abelski, this is the name of the web application we develop, and here within Abelski we can find org, Apache, JSP, and voila! Uh, this is the source code of the servlet the Tomcat um, uh, create for our our uh, for the JSP document we developed. So each time a request for the JSP document arrives, uh, the request uh, actually for is actually forward to the servlet, and um, here is the code of the servlet, and here you can also see the code taken from the JSP document embedded within the underscore JSP service method. This is the um, equivalent method to the service we know uh, um, when developing servlets. And unlike the complexity uh, when using servlets where we have the do get, do post, etc. Here we only have uh, uh, the service method. So either it is a GET request or a POST, uh, the code within uh, this um, JSP service method is the code to be executed.